Hi guys, this is Richard from Jest Online presenting you with a new video, uh, basically giving you a brief explanation on Dream Audit and how it can revolutionize the way you work. Now, this is the first of about three or four videos which have been broken down to explain to you exactly why this tool is for you. So Dream Audit is a cloud-based audit tool designed for you to fulfill your audit engagements. What makes it stand out from the crowd is that the risk analysis system is fully automated. Your pervasive risks, inherent risks and internal control are the pillars for your audit engagement. And they are what define your overall analysis in the end. With Dream Audit, the automated risk analysis links steps two, which is here, steps three, four and five together without you having to start from scratch every time. So let me show you for step two. So perform risk assessment procedures. So I deploy step two. I open pervasive risks. So here are the overall risks which our entity can encounter. So each step is for us to fulfill, to fill out. So here is an example. For example, question one, risks related to economic situation and industry sector. And we have our relative questions which we can respond to and leave a comment. Uh, depending on the importance of your comment, you can add it to the summary, which will be automatically added to the completion memorandum at the end. So let me just close pervasive risks. I'll then go into assertions level. So this would basically represent the inherent risks. Let me just open receivable sales. And so in this section, we have our questions. For example, is turnover with related entry entities significant? Uh, as you can see here, the yes is red, which means it's a high risk answer. Um, as you can see, our percentage here for everything is rather moderate or high. If I go to no, you'll see that the valuation goes down to 57% and the existence becomes green at 0%. By going back to yes, it goes back up to 33% and our valuation goes up to 70, 71%. The answers define your level of risk. The answer is calculated in relation to the risk. So if I just go out of the assertions level and then into the internal control folders, this will basically explain um, the risks that have been found and how the entity uh, manages these risks. So if I go into receivable sales, uh, I go into the risks checklist for example, and here we have the similar format to, uh, to before, so the answers are calculated in relation to the level of risk. So it is the same kind of idea. Are the price lists set by management and consistently applied? So question two. No, it's a high risk answer. Analysis needs to be done. We have our assertions here, evaluation. So this is basically the beginning bit. This is like the, the, the basis for your audit, um, which, uh, which you need to do beforehand. And I will show you in, an, in an, the next video, which will be for step three. And that will explain to you how everything we fill out in this step works in step three. So thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next step.